Hi everybody, it's Brittany, and we're starting off in my house today, apparently. Uh, Cherry's here. Hey, Cherry. Surprised, you look surprised. I just left, I just felt like hanging out. Yeah, no problem. Come in. Um, yeah, have a seat. Play some chess. I got snacks, books, just stuff. You know, to keep us occupied and entertained. Let's talk. You hungry? I brought an apple. Dig in. Thank you, Cherry. That was very kind. You should always bring a gift when you go over to people's houses. Up for a game, Rambler? Sounds fun. Okay, we're gonna play a game of high cart, low cart. Poof, yeah, who needs rules, right? Okay, if you win, you'll take home some book stands. Okay, let me just grab a card. Hopefully I win. I kind of want, oh, five. That's gonna be hard. And we're starting off with five. Now to pull another. I'm gonna go high card, you guys. We'll see. We'll see if I win. Oh my gosh, I won! Big seven, yes! I get a book stand! Thank you, Cherry! Whew, that got me seriously revved up. We definitely gotta play again sometime, B. You're sure right. So yeah, Cherry just decided to come over. Um, it's actually pretty late at night here. It's like 12.09 in the morning. Actually, that would be it. But I guess I go to their houses at any time of the night, so I can't really say anything about what's rude or not. <laughs> um, King to B1. Yeah, she knew she wasn't going to win. Whoa, I totally lost track of time. Guess I should take off soon. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Cherry. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I totally lost track of time. I've got to head out in a sec. Next time, my place be. Yeah, no problem, Cherry. You got it. You got it, buddy. See you later. Let's get out of the house. So yeah, it's a new day. Uh, new time. I forget where we left off, you guys. Like, seriously. <laughs> I finished the house. I guess maybe we did some design tours after that. And then I've been doing other stuff. So, let's do some cleanup. And then we'll go... A happy home because we can't look at uh, we can't sell anything not unless I put it in the box because uh, the nook store is closed see I got weeds all over the place it's been a minute I didn't think it'd been that long I'm not picking up the fossils I'm not feeling it oh um, Isabel said there's someone at the campsite. We should go see who is over there. Ooh, and we'll go start looking for that message in a bottle. How's everybody doing? How's your day? How's your week? How's your month? Let me know. I'm curious. We can chat back and forth in the comments. I comment back. <laughs> Nipples is home. Every I would assume everyone should be home as late as it is, but I guess I'm out running around, so. Who should I be criticizing? Let's talk to Static. It's been a minute. It's Gold Star. I ain't spoken to you in a while, it seems. I was worried I done scared you off. Well, I know you got your own affairs to attend to, so I'll let you get to it. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Static. Oh, always so positive. And then there's Judy. I promise that wasn't shade. Don't look at it like that. <laughs>
pick up stick. Pick up rock. Or stone. Oh, I gotta get that stick. If anyone out there <laughs> is within my age range and they remember Stick Stickly, comment below. Let me know your memories about Stick Stickly. I still bring him up from time to time. <laughs> he had a bit of an impact, it seems. I'll give you a hint, just in case you forgot a little bit. It had to do with Nickelodeon. <laughs> Pick up that stick. I'm so excited for you guys to see more of the content we're going to be putting out. I think it'll be fun. We've been having a good time, which is why I guess it keeps coming out. It's Pierce! Hey buddy! I guess we'll, we'll speak to Pierce. What's up, Pierce? Yo, Sir Kit, haven't caught up. Oh, I, I, I didn't mean to do that. I suppose I could have come by your place to chat. Believe it or not, I'm actually kind of shy, B. Oh, I believe it, Pierce. Oh, I believe it. I knew it. I knew that speaking to three villagers was going to be a daily. I had a feeling. So, the reason we've been having so many late night streams, or not streams, just gameplays, is because my schedule is so off. I am completely on night shift. Completely. I go to sleep sometimes at like 8 in the morning, or 10, and then I don't wake up till 4, and then I'm up all night. Oh. I need to fix it. I'm gonna fix it, you guys. Don't worry. Oh, there you go. Message in a bottle. Pick you up. Climb, climb, climb. Climb, climb, climb. All right, no red. Let's go see who's at the campsite. Oh, and what's in our message in a bottle? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. You had better put the hop back in there. Where where is it? Uh, I think it's called groove hop. Yeah, grooving hop. Uh, I hate that I did that. <laughs> Scarecrow. Oh, do I know Scarecrow recipe? Oh yeah. Yeah, because I have one. What's in this present? Table lamp? Cool. No, I remember what book stands are. Never mind. Excuse me. We're not gonna go see who's at the campsite. So many sticks. We ran back into Pierce. Oh, wow. It's like Kabuki Cat. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm just here to do some camping for a spell. This sure is a nice island. You live here, right? If you have any recommendations for me while I'm here, let me know. Meow. <laughs> Bye, Kabuki. <laughs> run, run, run. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't looked at the Nook shopping. Anything... I'm pretty sure I have KK Dub 
and nothing I want here. I did buy a, um, where is it? Did I buy a Princess Peach crown? I know I have a Princess Peach dress. And probably shoes somewhere. But yeah, nothing new. Nothing new for now. What's in my... I guess let's put this apple away and the stone away and then we'll make it make our way to happy home paradise. Do some design tours. Everybody loves a design tour. Or at least I do. That's why we keep doing them. Actually, let's put some... We'll put the weeds and the sticks in here. Build up our inventory a bit more. No, we're not going to drop that. Oh, I wonder if I dropped it, if it would disappear. Let me see. I want to try it. Okay, no, it just won't let me. Fine, not a problem. Oh, wait! Before we go there, we gotta go to Harv's Island. Because it has been a minute since I've been back here. So it's definitely a new week, you know? Orville! Take me to Harv's Island, please! I'm ready. It's time for takeoff. Da -da -da. <laughs> Thank you, Wilbur. We'll see you in a minute. Wait. Oh, uh, it's probably too late for them. That makes sense. Everybody's sleeping. <laughs> oh no, everybody's in their campers. <laughs> oh. Except for Red. Because Red is always looking to hustle. Okay. Alright, we'll just go to Happy Home. Wilbur, please take me to work. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Nico. Oh, the music festival is almost here, you guys! Oh, does that mean there's gonna be music festival tomorrow? And I need to definitely make sure I'm here? Is that what we're... Oh, I think so! I think there's a music festival tomorrow! I was hoping there would be one soon, because I've been wanting to jam out with you guys! <laughs> Are you excited? Because I'm very excited. Oh, this will be fun. Oh, wait, I think I missed my message in the bottle. Yeah. Get yeah, Eloise and Lolly kicking sand and dancing and waiting to get in on the partying. Should we see Muffy? Let's go see Muffy. Oh, wow. I mean, I know it's always crowded in here, but it just seems extra lively today for some reason. Hey, Muffy. Yes, you definitely should have rinsed that bowl. Cherry tart? I think I- yeah, I already know it. Again, I'm gonna put the call out there, you guys. Again, 
Um, if anyone out there is generous and kind and would like to share a peach with me, a, a lonely Animal Crossing person, I would be very thankful. Thank you. Now, let's go through our network. Oh man, where did we leave off? <laughs> oh man. Oh, we definitely did Santa, we did that. I'm pretty sure we did a, thr a Thrill Seekers Hideaway. Because I remember a Cephalobot. I think we, did we do Bianca and Blue Bear? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Yes. Kid Kitty and Ione. Did we do Island Power Spot yet? I don't think so. Alright, we'll start with Diva and Gale. Island Power Spot. And the Island Power Spot is Diva's um, design idea. So basically, I like to think of it as like a spiritual, um, mystical divination place, I guess. She likes that stuff. So I put a lot of witchy elements here, forbidden altar, um, tons of tons of different stuff. Let's go ahead and do a top down view because I'm going to have to move her anyway. I'm going to move her right here. And the outside is pretty simple. You got your glowing moss statue here facing the sea because it feels like that's significant. And they're both in their priestess outfits. Divas in red and Gale. You're Gale, right? Yeah, you're Gale. I'm just saying hi. And Gale is in blue. Of course, you always have to have a cauldron. Especially if you're dealing with the spiritual. Let's go inside. Oh wow, it's been a minute since I've been in here. So we come in here, and yeah, definitely a mossy glowing area. I think the idea I had here was that the glowing moss was like every time you walk there's magic type of thing. And so this place is a bit of a communal um, space. It's a communal uh, city or community, and so they share a lot of things. And of course, there's a, this donation box for the things that are shared so that you can contribute. You have laundry here for the people, um, food, a kitchen that everybody uses. I'll close that up again. I'll go through here. I believe there's, yep, a bedroom. I'm sorry, Gail. And then leads to a bathroom and, of course, the glowing pond. And they bathe in this glowing pond. Everybody can... No one is, like, um, turned off by nudity. Actually, you're not really allowed in here if you're turned off by any of the things they do. So, everybody is fine with being nude and open. Let's take a seat. We'll do a top-down view. Let's see, there's the bathroom. Shower. Got a glowing mushroom tube. So yeah, this is the downstairs. I completely forgot this is what it looked like in here. <laughs> I haven't been to... Um, some of these builds or designs in a, a minute. Alright, let's go upstairs. Alright, and so upstairs, I think originally I had made it Diva's like complete personal space because I see her as like the shaman of the area, like she's the leader. 
Yeah. And so, yeah, her um, sleeping area is bigger. And this is where she does her personal divination. People are allowed to come up here and work with her, but she usually likes to work alone. And you come over here, and this is her private, like, kitchen, laundry area. Because, yeah, she's the shaman prophet. And she owns everything. Let's do a top-down view. And... All right. Okay, you guys. That is it for this video. I will see you in the next one. I think we're going to continue with some more... Uh, design tours. Bye!